Wow! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Answer some emails, man. Just chill. Kicking back. Traveling tomorrow. Got to go pack in a couple minutes. Get my shit together. This comes from i uh, I'll keep this, um, I'll keep this kind of anonymous, I guess. Hey, Mark, quick question regarding them gains. I'm a full-time student and work part-time, as I imagine a lot of people are. Occasionally, I need to resort to pulling all nighters in order to finish housework and continue with the rest of my life. And I was supposed to be getting my sleep at night, but sometimes it's just not possible. As an example, I worked out today at 10 a.m., went through my day, and now finishing up homework, which take all night. I probably won't sleep, and by the time I'm done, it's tomorrow, and I'll be time to get up for school around 6.30. Shit, not at all. After school, at 4.30 p.m., I'll train, I have a big meal, then I go to bed before the sun sets. For the most part, my calories are on point, I treat my meal planning like a day with sleep. I love training, so if it really isn't hard for me to work out when tired, as long as I'm on my pre-workout. Still, I feel like I'm losing gains, or I'm training for no reason because I didn't recover. I'm a bit confused. Should I not train the first day? Skip the second day? Am I okay doing, am I doing okay as long as my calories are on point? You know what, dude? I don't. I think we're looking at training and gains in the wrong fashion. When you don't sleep, you deprive your brain of much needed recovery time. Obviously, different people need different levels of sleep. I just read an article. I forgot where I read it. Where there's some uh, very successful people. What was that dude? Um, that, that fucking Bloomberg. That that douchebag from New York. Um, I say that because he banned fucking sodas over 16 ounces. Fuck you. All right. So check it out. He doesn't sleep over four hours a night ever. It's how his brain's wired. There are genetic anomalies, but assuming you're normal, I'm not really worried about your games. I'm worried about you actually being detrimental to your performance in school. Now you can fit in. So you finished up homework, which took all night. How, what the fuck kind of homework do you have? I went to college, man. It wasn't that bad. I spent maybe two hours a night, if that, doing any kind of homework or studying. So uh, you get, get up at 6.30 after school. At 4.30, you train. Have a big meal and goes to bed. That's the next day. You know what? If you do this occasionally, I can see where you do it. I can see you affording yourself a nap or two, getting at least four hours of sleep. You got to be able to fit sleep in there. But let's go. Oh, oh, let's, let's fucking go out on a tangent here. You're worried about those gains. I think you should worry about your education first and foremost. I know that you're trying to fit it all in. And I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, I think that, um, you know, you got to make it work with your life. I think that's what you're trying to do. But worrying about those gains before worrying about that mental performance in school is the main thing. Now, if you can fit in, now here's the deal, four sessions a week, right? You only need to weight train about four days a week. I only weight train four days a week now. Four days a week, that's four hours a week. I'm guessing you have a fucking gym on campus. You're probably using that. It takes you probably five to 10 minute walk to commute each way to your little college gym. So fucking do that college gym thing. Get it done. Do four days a week. You have the other three days to rest, recover, do homework, study, do whatever you need to do. Um, partying all night. I mean, I'm not saying anything about partying or anything. I'm just like clean up and all that. I just think, you know, honestly... Your time management skills suck. You need to look into budgeting your time properly to afford training, homework, and all that. And there's ways to regiment your time where you're able to fit in that sleep. And if people who know me know I'm extremely schedule and detail oriented when it comes to my day. So in fact, now I've been planning on this block of time to film videos for the past two days it's been in my calendar. So I'm, unless I'm traveling, I'm very concise with my scheduling. So in order to fit in, and Jay Cutler's phenomenal at this too, the way he fits in training, diet, answering emails, everything's a science. So if you look at a lot of people who are successful in life, the seven habits of highly successful people, one is budgeting your time. And sir, you need to work on budgeting your time, okay? And also you're in college. You know what? Go bang some chicks, all right? I was engaged in college. I didn't get to bang many chicks, okay? I got to masturbate. That was really about it. So I recommend that you really look into how you're budgeting your time. There's, you're probably playing StarCraft and shit like I did in college, all right? StarCraft, by the way, is the fucking shit. I don't even know if people are playing that anymore, but it was awesome, man. Um, but anyway, dude, fucking just get it done. Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. He's procrastinating, staying up all night, being so tired you can't even get a wood. Got a game? Boom!